Dive into a world of vivid colors and dramatic scenes with the renowned French romantic artist, Eugène Delacroix. Born in 1798, Delacroix was a torchbearer of the Romantic art movement in the 19th century. A master of his craft, he was known for his passionate portrayal of human emotions and the dramatic interplay of light and shadow. His enchanting use of color and composition set him apart from his contemporaries, making him an influencer of not just the Romantic art movement, but also the development of both Impressionist and Symbolist art. Delacroix's art was a reflection of his personality, passionate, rebellious and complex. He was not one to shy away from controversy, often choosing themes that were considered exotic and scandalous for his time. His fascination with the unusual and the dramatic was evident in his work, as he masterfully brought to life scenes from literature, history and his travels. His legacy is not just confined to his paintings, but extends to his extensive journals that provide an insightful glimpse into his thoughts, inspirations and the art world of the 19th century. Delacroix's influence can be seen in the works of many artists who followed him, including the Impressionists who were inspired by his color theories and the Symbolists who admired his ability to evoke emotions through his art. But what truly sets Delacroix apart is his unique use of color and composition. He had an uncanny ability to balance intense colors and intricate details with a sense of harmony and proportion. This mastery of color and composition allowed him to create images that were dramatic yet balanced, chaotic yet harmonious, making each of his paintings a visual feast. Delacroix's masterpiece, The Death of Sardanapalus, is a perfect embodiment of his artistic style, with its vivid colors, dramatic scene, and complex composition. This painting, like many of his works, is a testament to his passion for the exotic and his mastery of color and composition. So brace yourself for an exciting exploration of Delacroix's world, where art is not just a visual experience but an emotional journey. The painting The Death of Sardanapalus was created in the Romantic Era, a time of emotional expression and grandeur. The Romantic Era, spanning from the late 18th to mid-19th century, was a period of profound change. It was an age that rebelled against the rational thought and order of the Enlightenment. Emotion, individualism, and a fascination with the past were the heartbeats of this era. Artists, poets and musicians sought to capture the human spirit in all its raw, unfiltered beauty and complexity. Now imagine a world where emotions were not merely feelings but powerful forces that could shape and transform. A world where the individual was not just a cog in the societal wheel, but a unique entity with a distinct voice and vision. This was the Romantic Era, and it was in this fertile ground that Eugène Delacroix sowed the seeds of his creativity. Delacroix, a titan of French Romantic art, was known for his dramatic paintings. He was a master at capturing intense emotion, often through scenes of chaos and conflict. His brush was his voice, and he used it to make powerful statements about the human condition. The Death of Sardanapalus is a quintessential example of Delacroix's romantic sensibilities. The painting depicts the final hours of the Assyrian king Sardanapalus, a figure from ancient history. As his empire crumbles, he orders the destruction of his possessions, including his concubines and servants. It's a scene of grandeur and despair, reflecting the Romantic era's fascination with the past and its emphasis on intense emotion. This painting also embodies the Romantic ideal of individualism. Sardanapalus, in choosing to destroy what he cannot possess, asserts his individual will against the inevitable march of time. It's a bold, even shocking statement of personal agency and defiance. In essence, the death of Sardanapalus is a mirror of its era. It's a vivid tapestry woven with threads of emotion, individualism and a longing for the past. It's a testament to the Romantic era's enduring influence on art and society. Now that we understand the era, we can delve into the elements of the death of Sardanapalus. The painting The Death of Sardanapalus is a symphony of color and chaos that tells a tragic story. This grandiose masterpiece by Eugene Delacroix is a spectacle of epic proportions measuring nearly 4 meters in width and 3 meters in height. The canvas is filled from edge to edge with no space wasted. The sheer size and scale of the work contribute to the sense of drama and spectacle, immersing the viewer in the tragic scene. Delacroix's use of color and light is nothing short of masterful. The predominant hues are rich, warm tones of red, gold and orange, contrasted by areas of cooler blues and greens. The warm colors evoke feelings of passion, violence and chaos, while the cooler tones function as a visual relief, providing a sense of calm amidst the turmoil. 
Light and shadow are used to emphasize the drama of the scene, with the central figure of Sardanapalus bathed in a divine light that sets him apart from the carnage around him. The characters in the painting are depicted with an intense realism, each one caught in a moment of high emotion. The king, Sardanapalus, is portrayed as a figure of decadence and despair, reclining on his lavish bed while his kingdom crumbles around him. His expression is one of resignation, a man accepting his fate with a tragic grace. The other characters are portrayed in various states of distress, their faces contorted with fear, horror and grief. Analyzing the composition, Delacroix's use of perspective is key to the dramatic impact of the painting. The scene is portrayed from a slightly elevated viewpoint, giving us a bird's eye view of the chaos. This perspective allows us to see the entire scene at once, enhancing the sense of scale and grandeur. The composition is carefully balanced, with the figure of Sardanapalus in the center, surrounded by the chaos of his dying kingdom. The lines of the composition lead our eyes towards the king, reinforcing his central role in the narrative. The dramatic scene portrayed is one of the most powerful aspects of the artwork. It's a scene of destruction and death, with the king choosing to destroy his own riches and have his concubines killed rather than surrender to the enemy. This decision is depicted in a series of vignettes within the larger scene, each one telling a part of the story. It's a scene that is both horrifying and captivating, a testament to the power of Delacroix's storytelling. This painting is not just a visual feast, it's a narrative masterpiece. Let's delve into the story it tells. The Death of Sardanapalus is an artwork that goes beyond mere representation. It tells a story of decadence, despair and the ultimate downfall of a king. It's a painting that invites us to look closer, to delve deeper into the narrative, and to appreciate the masterful storytelling of Eugene Delacroix. The Death of Sardanapalus is based on the play by Lord Byron, which itself draws from ancient Assyrian history. It's a tale that dips its toes into the pools of power, luxury and ultimately, death. Now let's traverse the corridors of history to meet our protagonist, King Sardanapalus. A man of immense power and opulence, his reign was synonymous with decadence, but this tale is not one of triumph, but of despair. In the face of an inevitable rebellion, Sardanapalus made a decision that would echo through the annals of time. Rather than surrender his riches to the rebels, he chose to destroy them. The king ordered a grand pyre to be built, a funeral pyre not just for him, but for his treasures, his concubines, and his servants. In his mind, if he could not enjoy his luxurious life, then no one else should either. This act of self-destruction paints a picture of a man who held power and luxury above life itself. Now isn't that a chilling thought? A king, on the precipice of defeat, choosing to obliterate his world rather than let it fall into the hands of his enemies. It's a narrative that explores the darker side of power, the shadow cast by the shining allure of luxury. But it wasn't just about the destruction of material wealth. Sardanapalus had his concubines and servants slain and added to the pyre. The king's decision to include living beings in this act of self-destruction adds another layer to this tale. It brings mortality into sharp focus and raises questions about the value of life in the face of death. In the hands of Delacroix, this morbid tale takes on a new life. He breathes color and emotion into the narrative, turning it into a visual feast for the eyes. The painting becomes a mirror reflecting the themes of power, luxury and death that underpin the story. Delacroix has transformed this tragic tale into a riveting visual spectacle. In The Death of Sardanapalus, Delacroix has created a masterpiece that encapsulates the spirit of the Romantic era. This grandiose painting, with its striking dimensions, is a testament to Delacroix's incredible skill and vision. The artist's use of vibrant and contrasting colors serves not only to catch our eye, but also to immerse us in the drama and chaos unfolding on the canvas. Delacroix's composition commands attention, employing a distinct dynamism that propels the narrative forward. The swirling mass of figures, the opulent details of the court, and the looming sense of doom all contribute to an intensely captivating scene. The story behind the artwork, based on the dramatic tale of Sardanapalus's final hours, is equally gripping, adding another layer of depth to this already complex painting. Delacroix's ability to weave together these elements in such a compelling way truly sets this piece apart. Through this exploration, we've unraveled the layers of Delacroix's masterpiece, revealing a painting that is as complex as it is captivating.